Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner today. I'm really excited to be reviewing the power chucks available from Bison, and it's great to have you back in the studio, Mike. Good to be in the program with you. Uh, Mike, power chucks, you're well renowned, as we always mention, for your manual scroll chucks, but you're making really uh, big inroads into the UK market in regards to your power chucks. Can you Firstly, give our audience a little bit of an overview into your power chuck range. The power chuck range, what I brought in today is the 2405 chuck, KSGM. Remember the SGM, because that's because it's now supplied with soft jaws. So the days of when you had hard reversal jaws on there, no, soft jaws, because that's what the customers want. So it's only coming with soft jaws with soft as jaw. standard. Yes, that's it. That's what you get, which has, of course, affected the price. We'll talk about that later. But this is very popular, this chuck. And is it becoming more popular? Yeah, I mean, it's got the standard serrations on it, which goes on with the most popular design of chuck out there, which there are many. But uh, yeah, we can supply the whole lot now. Okay, Mike, let's start going into some of the technical aspects then. Can you tell us uh, what the maximum clamping force is? On that 200 millimeter chuck, the cl maximum clamping force is 86 kilonewtons. That's the maximum. So that's the maximum, but it can be reduced through the machine yeah, if you were looking to old thin world work. Yeah, you just adjust the suit then. The jaw stroke? Jaw stroke on that is five millimeters. Per jaw? Per jaw. Per jaw, and when you're actually utilizing the, the, the capacity, you can actually bore the jaws out to a yeah. larger diameter. Well, a soft jaw, that's the advantage of soft jaws. You then control how much you want to open up to. Perfect. And the range of chuck, what, what, what range do they come in? You go from sizes 135 millimeters up to 400 millimeters. Right, so it's quite a large yeah. range. Yeah. And the accuracy? The accuracy, well, that's just dependent on what, how you bore the jaws out, really. But it'd be it? running within microns, yeah, I would microns, assume. Yeah. And a really important part of any chuck is, is the through bore. Yes. What is the through bore on this particular model? On this standard range, the through bore on this 200 mm chuck is 52 millimeters. However, to complement it, we've now brought out a range the same as this, but with a larger bore. So say on a 200 mm chuck like we got here, that's 52. The new larger bore chuck will be 66 millimeters. And why is it so important to have a larger through bore? because it utilizes the through bore on the machine, which is what the machine tool companies have been selling, saying to us. They've been saying, this is a great chuck, Mike, but our machine has a bigger bore. What can you give? And I can say, well, there we are. So it six. enables you to bury the parts down the spindle bore yes. effectively. Well, otherwise, if they put that in, you've, you've you're, you're restricting, restricting it. it. Yeah, and it. you can also, even for bar feeding work, for example, you, you, to have that bore is a massive yeah. advantage. And throughout the range, they come as a standard and a larger bore. Yes. Both Perfect. Sides. Now, the chuck is one aspect of, 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 of the lathe, but what about the, the, the draw tube connector, the draw nut? Are you, are you the adapter yeah. plate, are you, are you selling the complete yes. package now? The days are gone when you, know, you just sent them a chuck. You've got to be able to do the complete package. So what we always say to them, right, what machine you put it on, we get a draw, um, spindle nose drawing done. So therefore we can open up the draw nut on the back, thread it to suit the machine thread, on the draw tube and then we make the adapter plate draw tube connector we can make up so when we finally sell it and send it out it's ready for the customer go straight on the machine not he has to do all the fitting parts himself that's fantastic and have you had many installations recently yes well we did one earlier this month we put into a company down in wiltshire uh 500 millimeter chuck as well so hopefully we can see some photos of that that come on yep. the screen shortly um here, here we, we go, go here, here we go 500 millimeter chuck there's the soft jaws we've got here as well, but we made also the adapter plate to suit. I think this was a Doos and Puma LM and the draw tube connector at the back, which was in two parts in the end, it's about to come down, but that's fine. We can do all that. So what makes you so competitive? Uh, I think the first one is always the price. Okay. Um, something like this, this is a 200 millimeter chuck. The list price on that is 1,106 pounds, but that's until the end of this year. These prices we have in this leaflet, what you've got there, they're valid to the end of the year. So this is a special offer. That special you... offer. Take so advantage it, it, of it now. Is this a bit of an hybrid technical corner? Technical corner, special offer. I'm a salesman. With... Anything can happen. <laughs> Mike, it's been an absolute pleasure. So if you're looking to buy a new chuck for your lathe, contact Bison uh, to find out more. Mm -hmm.